The second thing about theory at the firm that you're going to have to get used to is a lot of new vocabulary, abbreviations, and then formula. They come at you fast and furious in this unit. So if ever you get stuck, just come right back to this video and maybe play through and most of the big ones will be covered here. If it is a term that's uh, particular to a specific part of the study, so for example production, I'll keep it there too as well. Okay, first of all, when we talk about inputs, these are factors of production. So these are ingredients of making any product. They include land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. The output then is when I mix them all together, it's what I make. So it's just looking at what does it take to make something? What do we make something out of? And then how much do we make? Or what are the things we make? Fixed means you can't change it in what we call the short run. So short run means that you have some fixed variables, or fixed factors. So fixed means you can't change it anytime soon. I'll come back to that in just a second. Whereas variable means it's easy to change. It's relatively simple. So for example, if I um, want to open a new store in Danefern Square in one of the empty uh, you know, offices they have there, I probably have to sign a two or three year contract with the company to, to have my business there. So during that two or three years, I can't change that, that situation. I can't move out of it without having to continue to pay. So because of that, that cost, it would be a cost paying the rent, that cost would be fixed. Whereas if I needed someone to do a little bit more work, I could ask one of my employees to stay an extra hour to do a little bit more work. So that's variable. It's easy for me to change that. I can just ask, ask someone to. And if I need to reduce it, that's pretty easy as well. So fixed, again, this relates to the next set of terms because the short run is when you are actually producing, when you're actually running the business and making something day in and day out. During that time, there's always gonna be some amount of factors of production that are fixed. Maybe one or two, maybe more, but at least one. So this is the production phase. And the strict definition you always have to have it in is that at least one of your inputs is fixed. So you see these kind of all build towards this last little bit. The long run is the planning stage. Well, what if I could do anything I wanted? So this is sort of like, you know, dream however you'd like sort of thinking. So in the long run, all of my inputs are variable. I'm planning and I'm thinking about what's optimal, so in my mind I can change whatever I want. The next set of terms we have are marginal, average, and total. These are all different ways of looking at the same number, whether it be revenue or production or uh, costs, anything like that, we can look at the same thing three different ways. I'm going to use weight as my example, so just talking about three different people and their average, or I'm sorry, their different weights in kilograms. So this is going to be person number one. So I'm only looking at person number one. So right now, the total weight is 45. Now I'm going to bring in the second person. So now the total weight of the two together is 45 plus 50, so 95. Then I'm going to bring in the third person. So now it's 45 plus 50 plus 55. And of course, the total here is 150. This gets a little bit to what we'll say over here, so I'll refer back when we get there. But now let's fill in the rest. Well, when I went from having nobody to having somebody, well, I went from nothing to having 45. So the change was a marginal change. Remember, marginal means when I add one more. So when I go from one to the next. So I went from having zero people to having one. So the marginal weight is the change in the total weight, so that's 45. When I go from having one person to two people, well, the total weight changed from 45 to 95, that is, it changed by 50, so the marginal weight is 50. And it's always going to be the same as what you have there. For this person, it's going to be 55, because 95 to 150 is a change of 55. The average weight then is just the total divided by the number of uh, the number of people you're considering. 
So in this first row, we're saying, well, the total weight is 45. Well, 45 spread out amongst one person. So of course, this is 45 as well. But now we have 95 divided amongst two people. That's not a very easy number, is it? Uh, and that's going to be 47.5. And then we have 150 total spread out over three people. So the average weight there is 50. During this unit, you're going to get a lot of abbreviations as well. Always one from this column plus another one from that column. In the case of cost, we sometimes, but not always, will put this one in as well. So for example, we may say marginal production. Well, that's MP. AP is average production. TR is total revenue. TVC is total variable costs. AFC is average fixed costs. So you just have to be used to those and kind of play around with them as necessary. Real quickly about calculating the various numbers that we will calculate, and this is a big part of what we do, but the calculations are simple. Whenever we add all the margins together, and again, normally I would have like MP or MC or MR here, but I didn't want to point to one in particular. When we add all the marginals together, so margin plus margin plus margin equals the total. Margin plus equals the total. Margin plus margin equals the total. All of this is going to end up on a graph, so we're going to take the total of the x-axis uh, and divide it by the total we see on the y-axis to get to the average. What I mean by that is this. If I take this information and put it there, where we have weight on the x-axis and people on the y-axis, so I would take, okay, the average weight, I'm sorry, the total weight is 95, and on the y-axis that would be 2, so 95 divided by 2 is 47.5. The total weight is 150, right? So the X is 150, the Y is 3. So 150 divided by 3 gets the average of 50. Finally, if we're trying to get to a marginal number, we need to take the second total minus the first total, and that's going to be our change to equal the marginal. So 95 minus 45 equals 50. Okay? Um, Again, if you get stuck on any of this, come right back to this video and have a quick check-in. It's imperative that you not get stuck, though, otherwise you won't even be able to understand the concepts we're talking about.